right guys we're out here with the in motion s1 and we're going to take the first cruise we got it in the echo mode we're going to go into the echo mode for a minute and then we're going to put it in the uh the rate two and then the third the sport mode i love the automatic turn signals you know you're standing there straight and you're gonna you pull up to a stop sign just lean it the way you're going to turn and the turn signal automatically comes on real cool very neat Okay, so let's just uh, check it out. All right, guys, we're out here in the echo mode and we're gonna give that a shot right off the bat. And that's very slow, eight miles an hour, okay? So yeah, that's creeping. So eight miles an hour is creeping. We don't like that. We're going into the mode two. That's gonna kick the speed up to 14. Hey bud. Okay, so there you go, 14. Let's try to climb this hill in the, in the mode two. and see what that does. Oh yeah, climbing the hill, no problem. What's up? So yeah, so that's 14.5 or whatever for that mode. Oh, it has a very, um, you know, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you, the ride is very cushy. Yeah, it's very s soft. You know, it's not jarring at all. It's not like uh, one of them scooters that have the hard tires. You know how them are. All that rattling and all that. Yeah, the ride is very, very smooth. The grips are very, are real nice. The brakes, it has a, a drum brake and electric brake. That's, uh, the brakes are real nice. Real nice. And the acceleration is real nice too, so we can we can go for that. We can make a little loop over here and then I'll change the speed. It does seem to have a little like a throttle delay. Okay, say you're going, you let off the throttle for a second, then you hit the throttle again. It doesn't pick right back up like um, like a Mantis or, or like one of those type where you immediately start going. It kind of like eases into it. You know what I mean? So, okay, so we're still in the mode two. Now the mode two is probably going to be where you want to do your, I mean, not me, but I mean, if you wanted to get the maximum range out of it, probably mode two, they're claiming 59 miles. I doubt in the sport mode, you'll get 59 miles, but I'm going to, you know, when I do my range test, we're going to find out, I'm going to put it in there on the, uh, on the high speed on the sport mode and we will do it climbs these hills real nice man real nice okay so let's uh put the high rate on and that's going to give us our 19 or whatever it is Let me stop it over here real quick. Make sure I got this right here. Okay.
Well, I'm only getting, so it must, it must be the app, something in that app I don't have set right, because I'm only getting 15 miles an hour. And it did say something in that app about that, 15 miles an hour. Let me, uh, let me put the app back on. It says here I have 56 miles left of range. You see that right there? <laughs> okay, so I disabled the the 15 miles an hour thing. So you have to just keep resetting it and it finally did it. Okay, so let's see if it goes faster than the 15 miles an hour. Okay, so here it goes. Okay, it's going up to 18 something, so that's fine. 15 will make me think like I'm riding the Jetson. <laughs> So this is fast enough. I mean, you know, I use these uh, for these trails. I go on these trails a lot. They have 15 mile an hour speed limits on these trails, okay? So you're not allowed to go, well, you're not supposed to, go more than 15 miles an hour on the trail. And I try to stay within them boundaries, you know. Okay, so I'm happy the speed's back. Okay, so we're up to our speed that we need, 18. Give me a wing! Oh, this thing really rides smooth, guys. Wow. This thing rides real nice. Wow, real smooth. Them shocks were great. Them shocks were great, man. Wow. Yeah, they do a nice uh, job of dampening that ride. Because when I got off of it down here from and I stepped off of it, I could feel the scooter popping back up. So it was down, you know, those uh, shocks were depressed there a little bit. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with the setting on there. It feels great, man. It's smooth as silk. The ride on this thing is very smooth. Wow, I'm happy with it. Yep. Brakes seem nice. Well, maybe I'll get a chance to uh, come out and do some of this range test this week maybe Sunday or so. Or at least test half of the battery to see what I would, would do like 20 miles and then see what the, what the, what the results are on the bars because it has sport and five bars, so. Five bars is good because that gives you, you know, a pretty good indication if you wanted to go out somewhere, just go out. Then when it hits three, start going back. And then that gives you a bar to spare, you know. 
to for you know emergencies give you a, a bar for emergencies Yeah, it really rides smooth, guys. Really rides smooth. Yeah, the ride on this thing, it's got an excellent ride. Very smooth, man, very smooth. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up here. First ride, yeah, real nice, man. Real nice. I'm gonna go down this little hill to see if it cuts the power back, like some of them do, where it doesn't let you go, you know, more than 18 or 19 or whatever. Yeah, it's limiting the speed. It's, I can feel it, I can feel it drawing it back. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's slowing it down. Yep. All right. <clears throat> it's just using the electric brake or cutting the motor, you know, to slow it down. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later, man. Have a nice day. Real smooth, smooth riding scooter here. What is up, all? Look what we got in here today. The InMotion S1. And we are going to uh, take a look at this real quick. Let me change the thing there. Yeah, I'll back it out the camera a little bit. Anyway, let me uh, run a couple specs off here for you. Uh, supposedly it has a range of 59 miles. Okay, so now we're starting to get into some crazy ass ranges here. 10 inch tires, dual shock system, uh, 7.3 inch deck, 30% uh, grade slopes, 54 volt, 12 amp hour, fast charging technology, and has a maximum load of 300 pounds. Which I guarantee you, uh, if somebody 300 pounds rides this, they're not going to get no. Uh, we're not going to get no 59 miles of range. I can tell you that right now. But anyway, so let's open this. And when I do this, you are going to see... That you have to assemble it. For the most part. Okay, so what I am going to do at this time is insert the video that um, InMotion made of the assembly process, which is going to be a hell of a lot better uh, video than what I can make um, doing this by myself. Okay, so I'll insert their video in here because I, I, their video has a, uh, their website has a real nice video on how to put this together. Okay, and so then after I get mine put together. We'll come back and we'll uh, look it over and you know, turn it on and do all that stuff. All right, guys.
All right, guys, I got it built. So I just wanted to show it to you real quick, like, here's the, uh, the rear of it right here. And it does have really one really neat feature. I mean, I was really surprised about this, but it also had one thing I hated. Okay, so anyway, so here's the, um, uh, the back of it. There's two springs up under here, up under this deck here. I don't know if I'll be able to, if you'll be able to see that up under there. But there's a couple of springs. Has adjustable shocks in the front. Here's the last. Here's all you had to put together. You just had to bolt this into here and bolt the stem on. You had to put on this clip. And then you had to tighten the bell. And that was about it. Uh, didn't take that long, but you got to pay attention to the video. The video, the guy goes real fast, so you got to just pause it when you get stuck. Now, here's the thing I didn't like about it. I was really pretty ticked off. Is that... You have to register when you turn it on. I didn't know. I thought it wouldn't go out of the, the um, you know, the beginner mode. So you hold this in. It has a super nice dashboard. And see that turn signal? Whenever you turn, it is, the turn signal comes on automatically, which I thought was uh, ultra cool. I actually have never seen that before in a scooter. So I turn it that way. It comes on. And then I lean it that way and it comes on that way, which I thought was, yeah, that's neat, okay? And I like the dash, but when you, when you first turn it on, you can't change the speed, okay? It's always in echo mode. And I couldn't, I'm thinking, oh man, it's, a, it's something's wrong with it, you know, because it won't go out of echo mode. No, you have to download the app, and register, you know, with a password and all this other crap, which, you know, I mean, that's, how many, yeah, okay, I'm not even going to go there. Okay, I mean, I don't understand why everything you buy, you have to register and sign up and all this other crap. Why can't you just, you know, just start it and go, you know? I mean, what's wrong with that? So anyway, this is a kick scooter. You have to kick it, not like the, uh, the, um, the Dagway, which you can set it either way if you want with that. But I will tell you that I did think the uh, that feature on there, there's the light, was ultra cool. That automatic turn signal, I think that's neat. And now, the way that goes there, I think it might be a little sensitive. Because it does, you know, you don't have to turn much for it to kick on. So, and then I think I have to take this back. I just wanted to show you, but I think it's a, a little cockeyed there. You have to make this thing straight on your own. I think it's, uh, it might be a little, a little off, a little hair off there, but, uh, I'll just, I'll take care of it. It's no big deal. We'll turn that light off. Yeah, when I look down the stem, it looks like it, it's a little bit off, just like a little pair, but it's not that hard to do. All you gotta do is undo the the uh, thing here. Let me turn that off. All you gotta do is come down here, let the latch down like so, and then unscrew that bolt right there and then I'll loosen these two here. And you can, you know, you can uh, tilt it, you know, adjust it there any way you want. I think I'm just going to leave it like that now because I'm going to do it. So, yeah, it's got adjustable shocks, which I thought was cool. Oh, and then they give you this, uh, um, I don't see it up here. Oh, here it is. They give you this little uh, extender, the valve extender, because the, the front valve is pretty tight on there. So they give you this little thing. So you got to remember when you go out and go somewhere, you got to carry this with you in case you need to put air in the tire. So I think the hover one that gave you one of them too. So let's ride it. All right, guys. So uh, I just wanted to tell you that whenever you're assembling this thing, the trickiest part on doing it is going to be the silver ring. There's a silver ring there that goes in this on the on the uh, bushing, and then there's the black uh, bushing that goes on top of the silver ring. You have to jiggle 
the front tire to get the ring to drop all the way down in there. It's a little bit tricky. They don't show it on the video. The guy kind of like, the video goes pretty quick and he, he kind of like doesn't show you this part, but it's actually a very uh, critical part of it. You have to have this bushing in there. So if you have any questions, just leave me a comment or something in there and I'll explain it to you.